Thank you viewers, I am Tito Kieti Sokoli. In today's math class, we have only paired math question and we are given to solve a to power 3 plus a to power 2 equal to 36. I want us to solve it, why the video to the end and you will learn something. Now, to start with, I will start from the right hand side. I want to express 36 to be in the same form as given to me from the left hand side. 36 is the same as 27 plus, plus uh, 9. Beautiful. So, 36 is the same as 27 plus 9. Now, I want to write 27 and 9 in index form. And it's going to give me 3 raised to the power 3 plus 3 to the power of 2. Therefore, I can now write my 36 as 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2, which represents my 36. So in solving this question, I write a to the power 3 plus a to the power 2 equal to what I have here. 3 to power 3 plus 3 to power 2. First step. Next, I want to move everything I have from the right to the left. That means A to power 3. Moving 3 to power 3 from the right to the left will give me minus 3 to power 3. Then plus I have A to power 2. Moving 3 to power 2 from the right to the left will give me minus 3 to power 2. Everything equal to 0. I want you to look at this expression. If I am given a to power 3 minus b to power 3, it is going to give me a minus b into a to power 2 plus a b plus b to power 2 okay what i have written now i will apply it to this a to power 3 minus 3 to power 3 i am going to apply this expression into this and that becomes a minus 3 then into my a to power 2 then plus 3a then plus 9 good I have now written my a to power 3 minus 3 to power 3 in this expression also see again from plus that I have a to power 2 minus 3 to power 2 this is called difference of two squares I can write if I am given a to power 2 minus b to power 2, it is the same thing as a minus b into a plus b. So applying that to this a to power 2 minus 3 to power 2, I will now have plus a to power a minus b or rather now a minus 3 into a plus 3 everything now equal to 0 very good now observe from this expression or this equation that from this plus we can see a minus 3 and from the beginning we can also see a minus 3 I will factor it out Therefore, I'll have a minus 3 into, now the second bracket, which is a power 2 plus 3, a plus 9, then the last bracket, which is plus a plus 3. Good. Everything equal to 0. We are moving fine. Let us rearrange this. So I have a minus 3 into a to power 2. Then 3a plus a will give me 4a plus 
a next i have 9 plus 3 will give me 12 everything equal to 0 at this point the first bracket is equal to 0 the second bracket is also equal to 0 that means that i shall have first bracket a minus 3 equal to 0 second bracket a raised to power 2 plus 4a plus 12 equal to 0 this is what i have now now see with me that in the question we are given the highest degree is 3 meaning that in our answers we are going to get three roots three answers as the values of a now from this first equation taken from the first bracket you can agree with me that now the value of a will now be equal to positive 3 in other words we have gotten the first value of a also look and see that in this second equation from the first equation i have gotten that a is equal to 3 a1 because we are expecting three answers for the verb for a now in this second equation observe that it is a quadratic equation implying that we are going to get two more answers from it as the values of a i've gotten the first one now that it is a quadratic equation, we can use any of the quadratic equation formula. But this time, let us make use of quadratic formula method. And that is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is called quadratic formula. And in my equation, the value of a is 1, the value of b is 4, and the value of c is equal to 12. Next is substitution. I will substitute the values of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. And when that is done, I shall have my b is 4, giving me minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 to the power of 2, then minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is 12, or divided by 2 multiplied by 1. That is my 2a. Moving forward, I have minus 4 plus or minus. You can now see that in the square root, I have 4 raised to the power 2, which is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 12 will give me 48 everything divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 moving forward we have minus 4 plus or minus now see that 16 minus 48 will give me negative 32 all over 2 from what we can see now you can agree that my d is less than 0 okay my determinant in the root is less than zero. That implies that the answers we are going to get for the value of A in this second equation is going to be complex roots. Okay? So, the answer we got in the first equation where we got A minus 3 equal to zero is a real root. Whereas, from this second equation, we are going to get complex root because you can see with me that we have inside the square root negative 32. Let us move on. Therefore, from here now, I have negative 4 plus or minus. This negative 32, I can write it as the root of negative 4 multiplied by the root of 8. Everything divided by 2. Okay? That is applying the product law of sorts. Okay, next I will have negative 4 divided by 2. Then plus or minus square root of negative 4 is going to give me 2i over 
2. Then, square root of 8 will give me 2. Let's put it like this. 2. Then, root 2. Because, root 8 is the same as 4 times 2, which is equal to 2 root 2. Therefore, root 8 is 2 root 2. Good. Now, you can now see that 2 here will cancel negative 4 to give me negative 2 plus or minus and 2 here will cancel these 2 to give me 2i then root 2. Finally, the 2 roots for this a will now be a2 because I have gotten my a1 will now be equal to negative 2 plus 2i root 2. And the a3 will now be equal to negative 2 minus 2i root 2. Final answer. So in conclusion, in this question that we are given, we have three answers. One is red and two are complex. The first one, A, is equal to 3. In the second one, it is a complex root, minus 2 plus 2i root 2. And in the third one, it is still also a complex root, minus 2 minus 2i root 2. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I remember to talk to you soon. Bye. Nambu, I'm going to move my